Hi subscribers and YouTubers. I wanted to do a really quick video today addressing um, our setup with propane. As you see, our homestead is in the back, isn't it? Isn't it cool? I love it, love it, love it. But the reason why I want to do it is because a lot of people have a different idea of what off-grid living is. And there are a lot of alternative energy sources out there when you are setting up your off-grid um, homestead. From solar, to hydro, to wind, uh, to propane, and to backup um, generators to the full use of diesel or gas or solar generators. So there's a lot of options to think about. And and because you guys have been following us and, and seeing what has been working and not working for us, I was just going to show you our use of propane and really why we decided to go with the type of propane um, and its use, its application, as I'll show you in just a second. Um, the one thing that you really have to consider when you're going off grid is what's going to work for you. You know, there's a lot of research involved in setting up a homestead, and if you're using that alternative energy source, you really have to think about things like, you know, is solar going to work for me year round? Uh, do we have enough wind to uh, sustain a wind turbine? Um, you know, if not, do we have a running creek where we can have hydro? Trust me, people, we went through all of those alternative energy sources on our homestead, and this was the best, most economical um, resource that we found that worked for our setup. So let's go inside and I'll show you the use of propane on our homestead. One of the applications for our propane use is the heating of our water. You know during the winter time it's great because we have the wood stove and it heats the water um, but during the summer time we love this on-demand water uh, system. Uh, we use the 20 pound cylinder tanks as I just so showed you and we've got a very simple sh setup. It heats the, the water. The other application is for my cooktop and we keep a 20 pound uh, gas cylinder in there too. Just a real simple setup and that way I can cook indoors with my propane. Now my kitchen sink only has cold water. Uh, don't mind the don't mind the dishes. But we do have another EcoTemp sitting in the box uh, waiting to be installed. And what my husband will do is, again, use a 20-pound cylinder. And I believe he is going to uh, drill a hole through the wall and keep the cylinder outside. And that way I'll finally have hot water in my sink. But again, a 20-pound cylinder is what we the chose to use. The propane is... I like the big cylinders. I have an outdoor stove. Um, this is just my personal preference. In the summertime, I don't like to cook inside. And my husband also has a lot of taxidermy projects, and I don't want I don't want them on my good stove inside, or at least my good cooktop. So what we end up uh, what we ended up doing is getting these a little bit bigger propane tanks because they do last they last a long long time. And this way, I can uh, do my uh, baking out here. I can do the rest of my cooking without in in the in midsummer when it's 90 degrees heating up that house. The other thing you've probably seen from my canning um, videos is I've got an outdoor canner set up. I kind of moved this to the side right now, but we also utilize the bigger uh, propane tanks for that. And I'll get this set up with my uh, my table and all my canning jars, and I'll just go to town. Now we're going to talk about why did we decide to use um, the propane tanks in some of our energy um, appliances that we have off-grid here? Well, we decided to use these smaller propane tanks, um, you know, for many reasons. One of the, the probably the number one reason was um, installing the big tank, the big 500 gallon or 1,000 gallon or whatever size tank you're going to have, having it installed up at the property. Generally, you've got to have those installed to where the, the propane guy can get to it with his big truck and fill it up. It's not going to work out in my, my setting here. Um, and plus, I don't want the propane guy up here. Yeah. I don't want, the only people I want on my property is me and you. <laughs> Which is me. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I limit the, um, there yeah, is no, this way there's no excuse for the propane guy to come or I wasn't here or this or that. No. Nobody's coming here. I'll be in control of, yep. of when I get the propane and I'm willing to live with that um, so-called inconvenience. To me, it's really not an inconvenience. Mm -hmm. uh, Stacy goes to town for, she has to work, uh, couple days out of the month, whatever, she throws in um, 
it's not very often, but I mean, we, we, we throw in the cylinders and she can put them in a car. Mm -hmm. She can handle them. They're, they're light enough to where she can maneuver them around, put them in a car, go to the place where we fill them up. They let you do it yourself there. That's a nice thing. You hook up the nozzle, fill your tank up, and so you get to do your own deal. Um, come and go as you please. Um, and then also we have with the, some of our appliances, the way it's set up, um, we can place the propane, propane tank at where, where the item is, where the right. appliance is. Um, we, don't, we don't have one outside here, so we, yep. we, we set it, we obviously have yep. a bigger one for here. But these, we decided to use a couple bigger ones for like our stove that we use outside for a lot of our summer cooking. Um, and then we use them for other applications. She can't do this, uh, or she could if she hooked, took a dolly in town and so forth, but I usually do this and I can still pick these up. These, these are quite heavy, but I can still manhandle these things up here and, and get it set in place. Um, and so we're set up for that and our canner thing is a big thing we mm -hmm. use when, when we're doing that. And is the cost the same the cost if you have? The cost is the same. Some, um, at some places or wherever, you get, like when you, when you fill up something bigger, you get it cheaper. Whether you, whether you buy it in a big, that or that, it's the same price. Okay. So it doesn't doesn't matter. Um, this way, we've got a couple of the cylinders sit, sitting that that do have some extra in it that you know, and these last us forever. Yeah. Um, so for our application, we like the mobility of having the propane for our indoor outdoor use. Um, she can handle the, the tanks, maneuver them around. If I'm gone, she can hook up to the shower or whatever. Some people are like, oh, you shouldn't have the the pro propane tanks. Yeah. What inside about the house. That? What about that? Isn't that dangerous? I've been doing it for, the bottom line is if your house is on fire, stuff's getting burned up, oh. whatever. A 20 pound cylinder, yeah. if it blows up or whatever it's going to do, I guess I'm really not too worried about it. I've been doing it this, I've been doing this style for probably a long close to 50 time. years. That's a long time. Um, 50 years? Well, 50 years. <laughs> well, 50 years! 30 years. You were doing it when you were a kid. A baby. Three years yeah. old. <laughs> um, you get my point. I've been doing right. it this way for a long time. I'm not too worried about yeah. it. When you've got the tank in a secured stored area and there's no heat source or sparks getting by it, um, I, I'm not worried about it. If in, in your application, I'm not recommending this to people in your application. If you, if you're, it makes you nervous, you're not worried about yeah, it. Then don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, I don't need the big brother oversight. I'll decide what's safe in mm -hmm. my in my living situation. Amen. What's not safe. Yep. And so that's how we how we roll around here. But it, it works pretty darn slick. And um, and the other thing is for our application, it's quite small. We're only talking about um, yes. heating the water only in the summer, yes. and then the cooktop is the only other thing that we have going on right exactly. now. That's uh, it. So that's we don't it. have a um, we don't have a backup source of heat for like the winter time, which we probably will end up getting in the future. I have a couple um, a small propane stoves, and the beauty of having these these small cylinders. I don't have I don't have like most people have the furnace set up and you got your gas line run to it and it's a planned out thing. Um, I don't want to heat all these. I don't want to heat the whole place. For a backup, I want to have the heat source. If I'm going to need to have that LP propane running, I'm going to have that heat, heat source by my water. Right. And so I'll just set my little stove in there and take the cylinder and set it off to the yeah. side. Put a barrier between it if I'm that worried about it, a, a piece of metal. Or and what about if the SHTF hits the fan and we can't get any propane? Oh, What's our setup? Oh, I don't know. I think we're going to probably be done. <laughs> Yeah, okay. we could be. <laughs> Once again, the whole operation I got going on in here, if we don't have propane tomorrow, I'm not going to lose sleep about it. I'm not going to worry. It's not going to affect me at all. We've still got the wood for cooking, if we need to heat water. Um, you know, the winter time is when it would, it would um, the, the water heating would be more pertinent. In the summertime, you can set some water outside and it heats up out in the sun. Yep. So, Heat, you know, we got it all, it's all covered. We've got our wood so stove. So whether we have electricity or propane, doesn't doesn't matter around no. here. Um, we've We're done good. It, we've done it before. We can do it again. Having it, having these couple luxury items, and that's what they are for right now is yeah. luxury items. If we didn't have them tomorrow, we'd survive. Oh well, I guess we I guess we'd survive. We got we'd to survive. We'll have the campfire outside and. Um, like I said before, we're going to be getting the, um, we're going to do away with the, well, we'll still have the fire pit. for. We like to have a fire sometimes in the evenings. But we're going to get a, um, a barrel stove up here with a flat top on it. I've got it down below right now. I'm going to, we're going to get it set up up here with a stack on it so that sometimes in the summertime um, we don't want to cook over the campfire. Yeah. We can be a little more versatile. And, and, and we also, don't have to hook up the propane. I mean, we don't yeah. want to use the propane. We're going to have another alternative source yeah. for cooking. Uh, and that'll and be... it's just a little bit easier too when we had the campfire set up. We always had to clean it up at the 
end of the summer uh, for plowing and so forth. With the barrel stove, we can just pick the whole barrel up with the ashes and everything in it. We can move it to a different site, okay. and we're good. it's just more portable. All right. So. All right. Well, thank you for the um, <laughs> the, the off-grid, self-sustainable information. Next time. Okay. All right. So you heard it from the expert why we decided to use the propane tanks. And once again, I will reiterate, uh, we don't depend on it. It is a convenience right now. And if something would happen and we run out of propane, we're, we'll, we're set up, people. We are set up. All right. Hope that gave you guys a little bit of information and something to think about on your upcoming, hopefully, dream off-grid setup.